Welcome to the Peer Simulation Program, Peer Patient. In this video, I will outline some guidelines to help you make the most of your peer simulation experience. The benefits of simulation are extensively researched and widely published across many health disciplines. Simulation is an exciting and innovative way of helping students prepare for real-life clinical interactions with patients. The aim of simulation is to enable you to practice treating a patient and perhaps interacting with a clinical supervisor in a safe and realistic environment before you head out into clinical placements. In some simulation experiences, a mannequin is used. In others, trained actors actually portray the patient role. Peer simulation involves working with fellow students to explore a clinical scenario. You will be asked to either portray a patient role, be a therapist, or perhaps take on an observer role during peer simulation. In addition to developing your patient care skills, there is value to be gained from portraying the patient role. This helps to develop empathy and a real feeling of what it is like to be a patient during peer simulation. For peer simulation to be effective, it needs to be as realistic as possible, mirroring the realities of clinical placement. Participants need to suspend disbelief and engage and immerse fully in the process and not treat it as just another prac class. To achieve maximum authenticity and learning benefit from simulation, we request that you adhere to the following guidelines. Number one, stay in character. This is really important and applies to all participants, the patient, the therapist, the observer and the supervisor. For students to gain maximum benefit from peer simulation, they must feel like they're treating a real patient, not a fellow student. When you are the patient, be punctual as you will need to get yourself into character. This may include putting on a costume and positioning yourself in the treatment space. During the interaction, do not laugh, chat to the person on the next plinth, ask your partner for ideas or check your phone. When you are the therapist, remember that your interaction with the patient commences as soon as you say hello. Your peer patient will be in character, so introduce yourself as you would with any other patient. There will be opportunities to ask for advice during simulation. However, do not ask your peer who is playing the role of the patient. You will not have a friend to ask during a patient interaction in clinic. Remember, this is different to a normal prac class and you need to stay in character as a therapist at all times. The simulation may also include a supervisor role or an observer role. Observers will not actually actively take part in the simulation, but may provide feedback on the interaction. Supervisors may ask you to explain what you were doing. They might ask questions, ask about your plan, correct your handling or provide advice, exactly as they would do in clinic. If a supervisor is in the room, ensure that you interact with them authentically, exactly as you would with a supervisor on a clinical placement. Number two, be prepared to ensure accurate portrayal of the scenario. You will have adequate preparation time for both of your roles, either therapist or patient. Make sure that you use this time wisely. As a therapist, ensure that you have a clear understanding of everything that you have read in the preparatory notes. Make sure that you have a well-considered, clear plan for your interaction. As the patient, ensure that you have read all the supporting material and have practiced accurate movement, voice, facial expressions and emotions. Number three, call a timeout if you need to break character. Timeout is a tool that all participants can use, the therapist, the patient, the supervisor, or the observer. Timeout is used to pause the scenario and allow discussion around an event that has occurred. Timeout also allows for a scenario to rewind so that the therapist can repeat the skill, allowing for refinement and practice of the skill as required. You can go out of character if a timeout is called, but please don't use this as a chance to chat to others. As a therapist, timeout is an opportunity for you to mentally step away from the interaction and consider what you might do next. If you feel completely lost, that's fine. It happens to the best of us in clinical situations. The learning experience is in working out how to deal with this feeling and then moving forward with the interaction. Try to limit the number of timeouts called. As a patient, reserve calling a timeout for those moments when you feel that the therapist has done something that might potentially have caused you harm. If the therapist has done something that you think a patient would not like, try to provide learning cues by changing your behaviour. 
For example, if a therapist says something you think the patient would be offended by, improvise and become withdrawn in the conversation or point out in character that you did not appreciate the comment. Remember to call time in when you are all ready to resume the simulation. Number four, the patient is not to carry notes, a computer or a phone. You will be provided with prompt notes on how to portray the patient in the preparation session. It is up to you how you remember the key points, but in the interest of authenticity, you are not permitted to have obvious notes or prompts that you are frequently referring to, as this adversely affects authenticity. When playing the patient, if you have forgotten the scripted answer to an interview question, make up something that is relevant and appropriate. Try not to interrupt the flow of the dialogue. Most students report that simulation is a great learning experience, despite initially feeling really nervous and finding the process quite challenging. This feeling dissipates over time as you become more accustomed to the process. Simulation is a really valuable way to practice before entering clinic. The more that you engage in the experience, the more that you will enjoy it. Have fun.